Another interesting story, uh, rhino poaching is surging across Africa as tourism and crucial funding plunge. So why haven't we stopped poaching? There's a huge amount of fraud and nonprofit. Many folks say. in this community rely on this nonprofit in order to get assistance. Is accused of misusing hundreds of thousands is of dollars. Is accused of misappropriating the funds. The president and CEO of Unison was arrested by Poaching the could be on the increase in some. Poaching is the practice of illegally hunting protected animals. Why hasn't poaching stopped? So what's corrupt in the process? Find a consumer, give your pitch, deliver a feeling, ask for money, move to Africa, reap the benefits. This corruption is obviously not helping the nonprofit sector and is increasing the risk of wildlife death all around the world. There are just so many organizations that, that can do, do so, so much, much good, good, but the person in charge of them isn't using funds right. And after a couple of times, I was like, I'm just going to start my own so that I know things are being used properly. So when you see people who don't have actual protocols and they have this wild animal sleeping in their bed with them, you're like, If I can only go back in time and grab my greatest passions and start working at them as young as possible. Because as I grew older, I learned businesses start from a great idea and a tough mindset. I just never had the guts to quit, quit my, my job. job. Drove my dog to Florida to hang out with my parents and I moved to Namibia. Unfortunately, when I was there, I found out that the woman had lied about a lot of things. She was misusing funds. She had zero protocols for taking care of these animals. And a lot of the animals that she claimed she was releasing had actually just died in her care. Between that and misuse of funds, I was just like, I'm gonna start my own. I'm gonna bring together my team of people that I know have the same passion and goal as I do. And we're just gonna hopefully build it into a world-class organization one day and that's what we're working on this vivid passion is just driving me so much closer to crash and their vision because quite simply at the end of the day humans are destroying nature and thus destroying the homes and habitats of our animal friends I'm not saying we have to save the world tomorrow, but at least we can understand just a little bit more. We want to raise funds for the animals, but it's not just about the animals. I mean, it is, but it's not. You have to have people who care and want to help these species in order for your mission to work. We don't normally make that much at the farmer's market, but we get to talk to so many people and educate them about it. And then they learn more about the animals we're taking care of and trying to save that they never knew about before. And then hopefully that trend can just continue and one day, you know, there there is no need for an organization like ours because all of the animals are protected and not poached. We want it to be a world where we don't need to exist to save the animals.